Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm so sorry that I look such a mess. Um, I've not been showered with that yet, as you can probably tell. Um, but it's my birthday today. I'm 22 now, so I'm getting old. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, I really am committed to trying to do a lot of varied videos for the channel. So I thought I'd do a little birthday vlog. Um, so I'm just going to go downstairs. I was going to go shower first, but then I was like, oh, I need to shave my legs. That's going to take a lot longer. Then by the time I go downstairs, like, it might not be breakfast time because I take ages in the shower sometimes. So I was like, mm, breakfast time it is. I'm really excited about my breakfast because I was like, can I have like some fruit and some like dairy free yogurt? So mum got this um, coconut yogurt. So yes. Just really wanted to have some nice a nice breakfast on my birthday um that was healthy considering i'm gonna probably be in some cake and all that so which is you have to do on your birthday <laughs> but yeah i hope this vlog isn't too boring and um, obviously because we're still in lockdown and um, it would have been a lot more fun if we weren't in lockdown i probably would have had something else to do and i really need to go wash my hair um but yeah so I've just come downstairs and seen this on the front door. How cute is that? She put a little, my mum put a little banner outside on the front door. There's also some balloons and then there's some banners there. That's so cute. So there we go. There's my breakfast. There's pineapple, grapes, apple, and then strawberry, apple, and grapes in there. Oh, sorry. With <laughs> some plain Alpro with coconut. So that is exciting and I cannot wait to get this in my stomach. Hello, I finally dried my hair, which takes like the longest time. But we're here now, get, going to do like a little get ready with me. Um, I'm going to make my hair wavy and I can feel the heat coming off of that. Like I keep trying to watch videos to see what temperature people are doing them at and I'm like, no idea no one mentions it apart from one girl who said she does it 180 and i'm like um i just don't know i don't know at all but i'll just do this quickly and then i'll have a proper like sit down chat with you guys when i do my makeup because i think you're sick of seeing me doing this but i mean i'll do like a little bit and then we can move on to um it's so annoying because it's like quite late in the day but i was on the phone to my grandma for ages um, which is not not that's not annoying like we're on the phone for ages so like it made, meant that like it's taken longer to get like this part done but yes i'll be back once i finish doing the hair and we can have a proper chit chat while i do my makeup so let's do this so my hair pardon me my hair is all done thank goodness for that and as usual i have not got in this set out right and I keep getting these like dry patches like at my lips and I don't know why. I've been trying so hard to get rid of it um, and like leather it on. Like there's really big dry bits all over my lips and it's been really cold outside because it's been snowing and stuff. Oh, it's, like it's so annoying because the snow came and then it went away again and it came back again and now it's away again. So it's like, okay. Thanks for coming and going and like just bracing us with your presence again briefly. Um, just, I don't know, like, it's just really weird how it keeps snowing and not snowing. Um, but hopefully it will stop snowing though because it makes it harder to go out walks for me personally because it's like, when, see, when it's like kind of uneven and the ground's uneven, it really me messes up my hip and that's really not ideal and um, i don't like it when my hip starts hurting because it's like the most painful thing ever i mean there is some times where it can't be it can mean it can be okay and it's not like too bad but it can get like really really sore um it's so annoying because i really want to put lipstick on but i don't know if it will look bad with my weird lips going on i'm gonna go and get my highlighter palette and I, like the one with the highlighter I use because I always forget to bring it so I'll be back once I get that so I got it and I also got some of the other stuff that I forgot to get out and all that 
Um, I haven't got my brushes out yet though, but we can talk while we get through that. Go through that even, because apparently I can't even talk either. <laughs> but um, how is everyone finding their 2021 so far? I almost said 2020, but I'm getting used to it ever so slightly. Um, Because I personally feel like my head has been like, in the clouds drastically i really have struggled to feel like a part of this year um to be completely honest i just feel like i've kind of i'm trying to find a word that's i don't have to like basically i just feel like i've been so spaced out so far and yeah just um not got very far this year i mean obviously i have been putting out some videos as well so it's been fine and thankfully i've got that to keep me going because otherwise i've just felt absolutely weird like i've been getting like sorry for any guys that are watching and um, some tmi but um so like i had been meaning to go and get um the pill because obviously I, like had my break my period happened like supposed to take it on the monday but um i just was so like anxious and i was like oh i can't do it i can't do it like sometimes it's weird like because sometimes i can talk on the phone like completely fine but then other times my anxiety just makes it like impossible and i spend like an hour just waiting and i was like right i, I, I woke up too late like i'll phone tomorrow and then i was really busy on the tuesday because i got asked to do um a recording for um i don't know if a lot of you will remember but i did a video um about invisible illness which was a short film that i was a part of um and the guy who created it andrew asked me if i would record um like a little bit for his film and i was like of course like i'd love to help in any way i can so he sent me the script over and then on the monday we done like a zoom call um i don't know if i've already moisturized there but i mean it can't have too much i suppose um or maybe you can Sorry, um, but yeah, so I've done that, I got a bit like, I had like, my sleep has been so bad as well, like I literally, I've been going to bed at like 2 or 3 and all of you know that I'm like such a lightweight, so it's like really bizarre that I've been like going to bed so late, so I've been going to bed at like 2 or 3, so one time was 4 and I had to get up for this like call and I was like, oh god, like I hope it, everything's like goes okay and I don't like, so I was drinking all the iced coffee and then I had to record like a couple of reaction videos as well and i was like oh no like i'm literally struggling to like stay awake and um, but that was fine and um, that was really fun um so hopefully it turns out okay in his um movie that he's got coming out um i think it's kind of like a jokey kind of video about covid but it's not like insensitive it's kind of a bit of like tongue-in-cheek and it's like about this reporter who's like a bit of a um a bit of a dick to put it lightly um but yeah so i done that and like i was so busy obviously i couldn't phone the doctors so i was like oh mum can you like maybe phone them for me and then she was so busy that she forgot and then i just kept crying like my emotions were everywhere i like just couldn't um do it like i just um couldn't phone them so was it Thursday? Thursday my dad was in and I was like, can you please just phone them for me? Like I'm finding it really difficult. Um, and he was like, yeah, that's like fine. Um, I can do that. So he phoned for me and I got it on the Friday. But honestly, my stomach this week has been awful. Like so bad. Like it's not even like my, I it's like IBS, but not fully IBS. Like, and I'll explain what I mean by that. Um, so I'm not like consistently going to the toilet um, for things at the moment but it's just like this weird feeling in my stomach like there's like something like going on like it's like a weird feeling I don't really know how to explain it but it's making me feel really sick and like I've been getting a pain like in my side like where I think where I imagine your ovaries are so then I started panicking like oh my gosh what if I have like endometriosis or it's like PCOS and I'm like freaking out I'm like it's probably I've had this whole thing before and I'm so sure that it's um 
just IBS related because it's like I had tons of wind it was not okay like tons of wind um and it was just really uncomfortable so I'd been in a lot of pain then I was getting chest pains and I was like oh honestly like can we please not I feel okay today I had some fruit for my breakfast obviously um so I'm hoping that because I had something a wee bit healthier because then I was like oh maybe I'm being too unhealthy at the moment like maybe I'm just not eating enough like good stuff that I need and then it was a whole conversation I was like having with myself like oh god like what have I done this like this is like all my fault and it was like a whole thing but um yeah still not really quite sure what it is um but yeah I definitely need to stop eating dairy sometimes and really commit to just not having it because it really messes me up which isn't ideal but I have some good news also while we're here getting ready. Um, so you know how in the last vlog I was talking about how um, I got a part for this um, kind of, what are they called? It's like a Victorian drama, I think they're called. Like, so it's quite like, pot, like upper class kind of thing. Um, so I haven't heard back from that. But the day after that, I got a message so yeah, I got, um, I just heard my sister yell on me, but I'm literally like trying to vlog, this is awful. But yeah, so I got a message the next day from Maddie Bryce, who's doing our own show um, called Cavendish, the school series. Oh, sorry, I had to cut it off there because Lucy was screaming because she thinks she has brought the dog over. Um, and I'm like trying to record, like obviously usually I'd be like, oh my God, doggy, and I'd be like going running over there like full speed but um yeah I don't I'm trying to focus like I can't get distracted so yeah she messaged me and she was like oh something along the lines of like I, ca I can't remember my memory's not that great um basically like asking me if I would be interested in auditioning for like another role because they had a role spare and I was like yeah no like I'm totally happy to like no first of all it's like can you call us so I called her and she answered she's so nice oh my god um so yeah I called her and I was like oh my god like hi oh, well I wasn't I was kind of like oh my god try and be professional like try and be professional um I was like okay so like hi um, and she's like hi and we have a role of Freya um we were wondering like if you could maybe send us some headshots over and we'll send you the script and everything so I um sent her I don't even know if I resent her a headshot because I forgot to say to her that I'd already auditioned for another character and um it was so cool because then basically what happened was she sent me the script then I went on a zoom call and then we did some of the lines together and then after I came off the call she phoned me and was like you've got the part of free and I was like what I've got the part and she's like I'm really sorry it only has like one line so far um, and I was like don't be silly like to me see for me um I don't know why I said that so weird that sentence was bizarre don't worry I'm putting a necklace on because my neck is like really bare and it's like annoying me but um anyway sidetracked again and I was like honestly to me like it doesn't matter if I have no lines of one line I'm just very grateful that I get the opportunity to actually do what I love and obviously acting is what I love so it's very exciting to me to actually get all the like to be able to be a part of this series as a recurring character and like she said that I'll have lots of screen time so that's exciting um god bless some extra screen time but no like i'm gonna have an imbd imdb i think it's imdb credit and i'll also be getting paid for it so it'll be my first like professional job so i'm so buzzing about that i was gonna do like a separate video on that but i thought it'd be nice to kind of put it in this video and um, so it's a little bit more exciting i suppose um let's put some of this pink in here again I actually quite like how I managed to do it. I think I used the wrong pink, but you know, it's okay. I think this pink will work okay because like it'll blend in with the brown. I'm really buzzing about that. Like I'm so excited. Um, I'm really hoping that, it's an April War film by the way. Um, obviously we can't due to COVID and stuff at the moment. And I think she's just trying to still finish writing as well. Cause it's not fully, um, it's not finished. She's not finished writing it yet. So like, the fate of my character could like change 
like at any point because you have an idea you know so i'm gonna put some more of this but yeah so oh god i don't think it actually shows you properly but that's my eyes for now but please excuse my awful complexion at the moment um i just noticed as i was going into the camera shot like my like skin was like myself like i haven't didn't fully burn myself while i was doing my hair thankfully um but i almost i kind of just touched it and it was still a bit hot and guess what guys and you know how i said like oh i'll get i'll make sure to have concealer for the next time i vlog no i still haven't got new concealer and i'm still gonna try scrape some out of it because at the time, like I had, like I was so skint, I was like, oh my god, please payday happen soon. So I got paid yesterday, so that is a bonus, and it's a very exciting because I can't wait to just have new concealer. Well, there is something I could talk about, but I'm not going to just yet. I think that's a separate video for like another time. And um, so obviously now I'm going in with foundation. I nearly said mascara because I was looking at the mascara. I've been trying, I've been looking at trying to get the, um, the Anastasia, or is it Anastasia? Anastasia, I don't know. Anastasia, or Beverly Hills Foundation. Um, mainly, be I know I'm like, oh my god, because Molly May, but she was doing a video of it, because she got, like, sponsored, I think, from, um, Beauty Bay to Thingy Bay, and, um, I just, I like watching people when they talk about, um, don't worry i'm aware that i've not blended that side down because i noticed in the last video there was a bit on my nose and i hadn't blended it and i was like how did i not notice that so i'm gonna be make sure to be like extra observant of that because i was like how did i manage to miss that but it was really irritating um so like it's so annoying like it covers it up fully on that side but not on this side i hope my makeup isn't going to irritate it i mean it probably will and i'm probably being an idiot but um yeah so i'm just going on with the foundation to like finish this and then i heard a knock at my door but i'm trying to film so they'll just have to wait so yeah like not much else to talk about actually um well there is it's annoying i just have another um video oh bless she did her friend brought her dog in to surprise me but, like her friend wasn't in her friend brought that she let her, lucy bring the dog in um but yeah that's so cute oh my god alfie is so lovely he's a little um shih tzu but i think he's crossed with something um but he's honestly the cutest wee thing ever. Oh, I love him so much. He's the cutest wee thing. But that was lovely. So she was way now. She was like, I'm sorry for pausing your vlog, making you pause your vlog, but I had a surprise for you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that is so cute. She's probably thinking because it's my birthday, it would be a good idea to like surprise me with that, which is honestly so cute. I think I have it, like I've blended it, I think, on this side, on this side. It looks like it from the vid from the camera so and the, the mirror, so. Yeah, as I was saying, I was hoping to try the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation because Molly May said it was really good. Um, I was mainly not because she said it was really good, well, maybe a little bit, but like, I always like to watch reviews of foundation because obviously, I think I, I feel like I've said this somewhere before, it's good to look at foundations and videos because then you actually see how it looks on someone's face. Yeah, I'm going to try and scrape some of this out. And I say scrape, I really do mean scrape. So hopefully by the next video I will actually have some that's not like disastrous to watch me try and put on because I've like basically scraped. Ow! Scraped half of it. Out, which has probably scraped half of the foundation off my face. <laughs> because I really just want like a full coverage kind of um, foundation that's not cakey. Because I really feel like with the MAC one, um, it's really cakey plus it's not cruelty free so I really don't like using it. Um, I mean it's full coverage and it's like good in that sense um, and I've, it, they matched my skin tone with it so 
that's always a bonus. But, like I need more of a dewy full coverage, like because I don't like it when it goes like kind of cakey. It's not very flattering as well either. Or fun. Um. So I'm just going. To, that's not even the right brush, Megan. Hello. So I'm going to set this with setting powder. I hope you're all having. Oh God, that's going to not go out very well. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to do that. It's been a while since something has gone wrong with makeup, so you know something's inevitably going to happen, isn't it? I'm just obviously, I don't really have anything planned because I mean we're in lockdown again. It's not like we can really do much, is there? So yeah, I'm just gonna have a bit of a chilled one, maybe have a gin later on, and um, take you guys on the journey with me. <laughs> Um, so yeah, hold on. I don't know if that was an orb this time because in the last video it looked like there was an orb or if it's just fluff because I feel like there's like, it gets really dusty and you know, I'm always dusted and I'm like, I just want to not be dusting please. Um, but yeah, so obviously now I'm going to go in with, oh, I didn't even put a highlighter on before I set it. Okay, we can still we can still put it on. It's fine. It's completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there probably is a lot wrong with that. But here we go. Here we are. We're just going to pretend that that didn't happen. You know. So we finally done highlighter. Um, I'm going to try and do lips, but before I continuously forget, I'm going to do mascara because you know me, I always forget mascara for some reason and it's a nightmare. But I mean, although I haven't got much planned, Greg wanted to get a Domino's, obviously dairy free Domino's. I'm so excited. They have a new vegan pizza with like fake chicken. Um, and like they even have like vegan nuggets and stuff so he wanted to like buy me a Domino's and like send it to me and then he get a Domino's and then we sit and watch like Netflix and then together or like just like FaceTime since we can't actually see each other today because I think he originally wanted to take me out for dinner for my birthday but obviously because we seem to get an, like a new wee tradition-y thing go on where we go out for dinner on each other's birthdays or like anniversaries and stuff which is really cute um obviously we are unable to this year for now hopefully things can be open soon enough so that we can make up for it but honestly i'm not in a rush for that um i'd rather that everything was safe first and not just rushed open So I have decided to put lipstick on and hope that it goes okay. This lip liner is such a cute shade on its own though and I don't use, I didn't use to film up, like I did use to fill the lines and just leave lip liner um, because I think it would make, it used to make my lips look amazing but um, I don't know, I mean I know Kylie Jenner does that, honestly though, um, I didn't think I would be obsessed with this eyeshadow palette but like Honestly, I'm quite obsessed with this little palette. It's like, Megan, please find another palette. But I mean, it's good that I'm doing it because it was so freaking expensive for the shipping and everything. So, you know, at least I'm getting my money's worth. My stomach's been rumbling for ages. I really need to go get some food. For some reason, this side, like the bottom parts wouldn't wave. So I just had to like leave it and hope for the best. Um, 
but yeah so i'm gonna leave it here and i'm going to go get some food hey anyway, i'm gonna stop rambling and i'm gonna go so yes i'll see you guys later on when i don't know when the vlog kind of takes us there but yes i will see you guys soon hello everyone and i'm finally vlogging again I kind of missed a bit out because I kind of was just like, I had a bit of a disaster with my ring light. Um, oh my God, I'm so sorry. My makeup's gone like all weird here. Um, I was not having it going back on to the stand. So like I had a whole thing and then I was like, okay, we'll just vlog about these things later. <laughs> um, but yeah, Greg um, ordered me a Domino's, but it was like wedgies, the vegan nuggets and the not chicken pizza so the vegan chicken pizza um and it was really yummy i have some pizza left over so i'm gonna have that for leftovers tomorrow because cold pizza love cold pizza <laughs> it's the best we also had some cake which was so good so there's the vegan vanilla cake which was so nice then there's this chocolate vegan cake which was also really nice yeah obviously i had a bit of each because <laughs> it's um yeah they got two because my dad couldn't decide which one to pick up so he was like sure i'll just get both of them so yeah we got that so i thought i would vlog what i got since you didn't see that but it was easier to go into the kitchen and vlog what greg's mom and dad got me because i can put the stuff away so i'll just show you guys so they got me this giant food parcel which i'm living for they got these vegan cheese um, cheese tortilla chips, which I never got to try because I, I like found them at the last minute, but I'd already picked these up. And these are so good. I love these a lot. They got the vegan double chocolate chip cookies. You can get all this stuff in Aldi as well, which is amazing. Fruit cookies, which are so good. I don't even like raisins, but like they're actually really nice. I was so excited about this. There's the vegan peri peri mayo. I've been really wanting to find like peri peri mayo that's vegan because oh, I love peri peri mayo. There's also just the basic mayo, which I'm loving for. I cannot wait to try them. There's also this green pesto. There's also a chocolate caramel spread. I think it's just vegetarian, but it might be one of those ones that, I don't know, it does have milk in it, but that'll be okay in like small amounts. Um, these soft baked, which are to die for. They're not vegan also, but they're okay for my stomach, so it's not too bad. Um, there's also these brown folded rice noodles, um, which are vegan. Um, they are, they sound amazing, which I really can't wait to try them actually. There's also this vegan Caesar salad dressing, which I'm excited to eat about. There's honey roasted peanuts. There's also this pano chocolate, which is amazing by the way, which is also vegan. There's an oat coconut and almond latte, which I'm really excited to try. Sorry, I leaned against the, the cupboard door. There's these onion and chive puff pastry twists, which so pardon me, to die for. Then there's this golden vegetable rice. There's lemon and coriander couscous. Um, Vietnam vegetable faux soup. Ramen noodles. And hot and sour ramen noodles. Then we have, <laughs> we're still going, I know it's insane. Um, the vegan chocolate from Aldi, which I couldn't find in our Aldi, which is so sad, but I'm so excited to try it. And a bunch of jelly sweets, which, oh my God, strawberry pencils are like amazing. Things like the gummy mix and then the jelly cherries. So, and it doesn't stop there. Oh my God, guys, look what they got. The Devil Wears Prada on DVD, like, oh my God. Like, if you watch my top five movies, it's in there. Oh my God, one of my favorite movies of all time. Can't get it on Netflix, no TV, not on Disney+, Plus, not on Apple TV, unless you buy it from iTunes. And I was going to buy it, because um, it wasn't actually that expensive, but then I got it on DVD, so it's even better. Oh my God. You're in desperate need of Chanel from the movie. Like, how amazing is that? It's amazing. Um, I think I said amazing like about 5 million times. <laughs> um, I'm also having some Parma Violet Gin, which changes colour. Got this from my mum and dad, which is here. Thought I'd just show you that while I'm in the kitchen. Um, I have only had one glass, but I think I made it kind of like a triple, quadruple gin. And I'm feeling a tiny bit tipsy, so I do apologise if I'm a bit odd in the rest of this vlog, because I really do need to finish it up so i think i'll like pause here and i'll move into another room and show you guys the rest of the stuff that i got which is insane oh while i'm here 
Greg got me this smart watch, which is so cool. And it checks your heart rate and stuff. So that's exciting. Um, but yes, I'm going to go put all this stuff away in the cupboards and stuff. Um, oh, just like <laughs> the gin. Um, and then I will show you guys the rest of the stuff. So I'll be right back. So I waited until my mum had finished watching the the voice. Also, sorry if one of my eyes is going squint. It happens a lot when I'm really, really tired. And I can like see it like all way over there. Oh my god, they're they're both like just like oh god. Um yeah, I have a really bad squint eye. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's this the right one. Um it's not really ideal. I really need to go phone the opticians and be like, hi, can I please like get my glasses fixed? Because I'm like it, it they it really like I don't need them all the time. I just need it for like reading or like on a screen which is a lot of the time especially if I'm editing and vlogging and stuff like I really need my glasses plus it really helps my squint so that's a bonus so I also forgot to say that I got these from Debbie and Stephen which is Greg's mum and dad Ross got me these for Christmas but I only had like three left because I shared some of them oh I really wish I got more and then they she, they got me these so that was really exciting my mum and dad <laughs> got me the green and white roller skates so that's exciting i can't wait to roll down a hill and like hurt myself extremely badly so that's fun um i'm so tipsy i only drank like that one gin glass it's difficult because uh, my dad managed to fix my ring light but i've not had a chance to like put it up so i'm gonna try sorry i'm gonna try and do this in a way that works okay there we go that works the Jigglypuff t-shirt, um, he usually refers to me as Jigglypuff, the Pokemon, because I'm small and cute apparently. Um, but no, it's one of my favourite Pokemon in the game. Not that I'm really interested in Pokemon anymore, but Jigglypuff is still my fave. Um, he also got me Grogu or Baby Yoda, as people know him. How cute! So it has Star Wars there and he also got me this little outfit. But it should fit on him but i just need to take the little there's a little thread at the back so i just need to cut it and then i can probably change it if not my bare leader probably could do with a new outfit anyway so that's okay he also got me this little beaver with a strawberry like how cute is she well, i've not decided if it's a girl or a boy to be honest i need to find a name for her I mean, I could call her strawberry because, I mean, she's holding a strawberry, but I don't know. Maybe. We'll see how that goes. Um, so that was from Greg. And obviously Greg got me the watch that I'm wearing. I just put everything here so that I could, like, show you guys. Hello, everyone. I'm not quite sure how this is going into the birthday vlog because it's almost just over a week until my birthday but I got an early birthday present. Greg was so excited because one of the gifts he got me um was arriving early and he was like I'm so excited about it um like it's on its way and I'm like oh, what is he talking about but I'm like you did not just do that <laughs> I'm like still in like literally shocked he got this um, and also sorry that I look a mess it's been a day but I just got the new Xbox One Series S as an early birthday present and it's not like that it's a special birthday I'm literally just turning 22 my special birthday was last year but he's been very determined to get me an Xbox and I'm like you don't have to do that like it's so expensive Look at the new controller, like it's so exciting. It's so cool, like look at the new, Um. oh my God, I've just like completely lost all words because I'm still so shocked. Like the arrow pad, like that's not even the proper word for it. I'm just so speechless, but I will go show you what it looks like right now. This is what it looks like. It's honestly tiny, but it's really, really powerful because you know, Look at it, but it's so small in comparison to the other one. Like I originally had the other Xbox One Series S um, that was white. The size difference is um very drastic, 
but it's very very powerful and i'm really excited to go from console to console like not console to console that's not what i'm trying to say i'm literally just so like shocked and like can't fathom this like this is far too much and he's like we've got extra gifts and i'm like what like stop like oh and i also got um a gin tasting experience from my grandma which is very very exciting i'll probably like be wasted probably from this and i got this oh gosh they're gonna go off the bottom i'm gonna be careful this really nice beige lounge set could you come here for a second please i'm gonna get lucy to hold this for me so that i can actually show you because it's proven to be quite difficult this is why i love the sand okay yeah this jumper okay you're moving it more <laughs> just hold it nicely okay there that's fine so yes i've got this nice beige jumper that looks like this from molly and lucy and these are the bottoms it's part of the lounge set from boohoo and it has like the cuffed bottoms which is very exciting i'll be wearing this tomorrow watching the devil wears prada with my mum and because my mum thought it would look like molly may her favorite year yeah because she was like oh well this would be something that molly may would wear so she thought it would be funny to get that because she thought it'd be molly may approved so here we are it's back now okay. thanks dude so yeah um and greg's auntie diane she put stuff in the pardon me she is sending stuff out she's put it to, to greg's mum's house but obviously with the restrictions and stuff she can't drive here anymore well she couldn't really before but yeah like we can't really drive to get them so she posted them they've not arrived yet and one of greg's gifts that he got me isn't arriving here until like early february um, which is insane because you'll also see a clip of me freaking out of something else that got me. It's too much. It's just far too much. And I'm so tired and I just really need to get this makeup off my face. And I'm also kind of concerned. Let's be real here. You know how I was talking about earlier in the vlog? I've been having issues with my stomach. I, I feel like I'm not digesting things properly and it's be kind of becoming a thing because I'm getting like intense migraines. My stomach's like, feels like it's, you know, that kind of weird feeling you get in your stomach. Not the painful part of having gas. But like this weird sensation. It's kind of like that but without the pain, but it can be painful because it's uncomfortable, but not pain, if that even makes any sense. To me, it does. To you, it might not. But we'll just roll with it. Um but yeah so it's really uncomfortable and it just my stomach just feels dodgy like a lot and obviously I have to go to the bathroom but it's not like anything drastic it's just like normal so that's good but then <clears throat> pardon me my throat's getting dry i'm sorry it's not it's not corona don't worry um but how i was getting those cracks <coughs> okay that's a wee bit better um yeah the cracks inside my mouth um could be Obviously, you're not meant to Google things, but just because I was trying to figure out, like, obviously, if what's going on is really serious. And I mean, I probably should phone the doctors, although anxiety. <laughs> but yeah, I'll try. For some reason, it's weird. Like, for prescriptions, it's really terrifying. But I feel like if I have to for my health, I will, like, do it because it's so annoying when you're, you make someone else phone for you. They're like, they can't phone on your behalf. Or they're like, um, so they ask them questions when it's easier for them to just ask you. <laughs> it's a whole thing um <clears throat> but yeah so i'm basically google saying that i have a bit vitamin b deficiency by the sounds of things and my dad was trying to tell me that like oh you're a deficient probably got a deficiency in something oh my god and it's like maybe because like i don't eat dairy um i don't eat a lot of things really um like i could eat chocolate usually but i can eat like a tiny amount and my stomach's in so much pain and i have to run to the bathroom so i'm like i feel like it might be a wee bit more than ibs or maybe it is ibs because i'm on this like group on facebook and some people talk about how um their body doesn't digest things properly and they of like it doesn't absorb things so because it doesn't absorb things it's making them like their ibs worse and it's making them more unwell and i'm like oh yikes and then i'm like oh no like because i feel like i have been kind of not very good at the vegan thing in the sense of like i mean i have been trying to be healthy at some points but i think over the last couple of weeks because of christmas and then the new year and then my birthday i've not eaten like completely amazing which you know it's fine because it's the holidays but then it's like 
oh no, like, have I done something on part, like, obviously not on purpose, but like to myself that could make me deficient. And I'm like, I don't even know if you can just phone up the doctor and be like, hi, I think I've got a deficiency. Can you please check my blood and like sort it out? <laughs> like, so I need to figure that out. Cause like, I can't even, I don't really drink much anyway. Cause I'm, I like, especially not at the moment because I'm becoming an extreme lightweight and it's really ridiculous. I've been getting like really bad, like intense migraines and I'm not using the word lightly. Like I know what migraines are. Like I've been getting really bad migraines. Like sometimes if I'm like on my period, I'll get like a really intense migraine or like if I go back on the pill, I'll get an intense migraine. Like if I have like a drink after it or like halfway through it or whatever, I'll get like an intense headache and I'm like, yep. Yeah. I'm not gonna continue, which is an, it's a bit annoying, but like it's not the end of the world. I don't mind. Like um yeah, I'm like rambling on now because I'm tired and I'm a tight I'm tipsy and I have a migraine and it's like feels like someone's just like pressing on my head like oh it's really intense. But I, obviously I won't take anything because I have been drinking. So I'll just drink some loads of water, take off my makeup, maybe do a face mask, but I don't know if I'm too tired for that. Probably um. I really hope this vlog isn't too long and like boring and you like can stay with me through this because like wow it's um feeling like it's dragging on a bit so yes god like she gets so spoiled and honestly I do and I genuinely don't ask for it I'm like please stop sending your money on me this is so much like stop it <laughs> um but Greg will you listen absolutely not but yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I definitely do not feel 22. I mean, it's not really that much different from 21. But then see when your mum puts into perspective of you're eight years away from 30. Not really ideal. I kind of feel like, wow, okay. Yeah, like my, it's like the, my life flashed before my eyes. Like, oh my God, I have eight years to figure my life out before I turn 30. <laughs> so, you know, it's enough time. It's okay um oh gosh yeah i mean there's still time to figure things out but yeah i probably should phone the opticians and the doctors on monday and be like help <laughs> um as i've said a million times but yes I can... <laughs> just tap myself in the nose okay ow <laughs> sorry okay yes as I said... <laughs> a million times <laughs> goodbye thank you guys so much for watching stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.